it's Lisa. I'm doing a card for the Inspiration Challenge on Split Coast Stampers for Saturday the 22nd, although I'm a little past Saturday now doing uh, this card. The uh, board that we had to look at this week has all kinds of folded cards with fancy folds, some simpler things, some fancier things, and one of the cards that I really liked had a vellum envelope on the front of the card, and when you, and it was, I think it was open, and but since it was vellum, you could see inside that it had confetti in it, and then there was confetti on the card. So that's kind of what I was looking at, but I made up an envelope, and I just did one using my envelope scoreboard with just some white paper to see, you know, what size and stuff that I would need, and I got to thinking that this would, real this looks really pretty, actually unfolded, almost looks like a flower, and it wouldn't it be neat if instead of it being vellum out of put it out of regular paper and then when the person opened it their message was inside the envelope on the on the outside of the card. So this is, and then I decided well, it would be neat to make it a stand-up card because um, if you've seen the message you don't really need anything on the out, on the inside. So we're going to use an envelope for this and then we're going to do a real simple fold for the back to keep it to where you, it's easy to stand up. So I'm using the envelope scoreboard, but you could use um, whatever you use to make uh, envelopes for this, as long as you can make a small one. Um, and so I have a piece of cardstock to make my envelope. I have three pieces of cardstock that are four and a quarter by five and a half, the regular um, traditional card size. Two need to match, they're for the back, and then one needs to be for the front, and it can be different. And I also have some designer paper that I'm going to put uh, on the front of the card. And I'm using this stamp set called Love You Lots, which is a hostess set uh, from Stamping Up. And these little critters, which I thought for the longest time were porcupines, but I believe I saw somewhere where they're hedgehogs. Anyway, they're cute. We're going to use those, and we're going to use the Love You Lots. So let's start by making our envelope. I'm using the envelope tool from we, punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, and the one I want to make is the two and a half by three inch envelope, and it says to cut the paper five by five, which I've done. And for a five by five card, the score, the initial score line is two and three eighths inches. So I'm going to put my paper over here at two and three eighths inches. Let's get our scoring tool, and this is where we'll score our first line, and go ahead and punch out at that point, and then we'll rotate and we'll use this scored line to mark, to line up with the point and this little teal punch piece here, and that's what we use to mark from there on. We don't use these numbers. We'll just keep rotating it around. This white paper is the Naturals White from Stamping Up. They no longer make this, which is sad to me because it's one of my favorites. But you can use whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fold these. So this is the way it's going to fold on the front of my card, and this darker green piece here is my, going to be my card front. And I'm going to do my stamping on the inside of this. So let's get our little hedgehogs here. And I'm going to stamp them in archival ink and brown. This is potting soil color because I want to be able to color. Let me do a test one just to be sure they're going to come out good. Yep, they're cute. Right. There's our hedgehogs. And we want to do the uh, Love You Lots. And I think I'm going to do that in red. I'm going to uh, do the little tulip thing here in red. So let's pick a red color for this. So just grabbed some red um, chalk ink. It's handy. 
and I'm going to use some red markers, one to do, there's a little flower there, it looks like a tulip, and the green part of the leaf, and then I'm using watercolor crayons from my hedgehogs, I have no idea what color hedgehogs are, mine are going to be brown, so I guess I could have looked that up, googled them and see what, there's. maybe they have gray on them, multicolor, I don't know, um, but mine are going to be brown. I'm, are hedgehogs the same as groundhogs? I don't, you know, there again, I don't know. We have groundhogs around here, so quite plentiful, so I don't know. But anyway, I've got my little critters on there. They've got color to them, and I'm using some old Echo Park Simple Life papers, and I'm just kind of centering my paper here on my grid paper so I can eyeball the placement of these three strips. Not super fancy. Just want to get some color so when you pull this out of the envelope it doesn't look quite so dull with just a white envelope on top. And we're going to close it with a little washi tape. I end up moving that tape horizontally instead of vertically. Now to make the back for this, I'm taking my two pieces of green paper that are four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to score them halfway at two and an eighth. are going to form the back for my card. So we're going to do flip the card over and we're just going to glue these on to the back. Just a little bit I need to trim off. So when the recipient receives the card, you pull it out of the envelope and this will automatically pop back up and all you have to do is fold it out and it stands up just like that. So the only thing that I feel like I need to do is this I think needs a little something. I think I need to put a little heart here and I could go and find a punch or it's rather a stamp for that, but I think I'm just going to do a nice little heart like that. Okay, and that makes it really cute. So now when it's received, you just take off the washi, open it up, there's the message. You can have some confetti fall out if you want to, and it stand, it's a freestanding card. So that's my take on the inspiration ch challenge to do some type of pop-up folded kind of card. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm going to take that and trim it off a little bit at the paper trimmer so I didn't get it quite perfectly lined up. Sometimes I don't do that in real life or on the videos because... Um, I'm in a hurry, but um, I think you get the idea of how easy this card is to do. And of course, I would probably sign the inside of it. This is likely going to be my husband's uh, birthday card this year. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the card, and um, you'll check out some of my other videos while you're on my channel. Thanks so much.